Do you experience muscle weakness, pain, fatigue and depression? Are you having a regular exposure to sunlight while experiencing these or some of these? Or are you regularly eating foods which are a good source of vitamin D like fatty fish, dairy products, cereals and others while experiencing any of these discomforts? If not, maybe you are having a deficiency in vitamin D. In this video, let's find out if you really have. Stay tuned. What is vitamin D and its function in the body? Vitamin D is a group of fat-soluble sacosteroids that increases calcium, magnesium, and phosphate absorption in the intestine, among other biological effects. Vitamin D3, also known as chalecalciferol, and vitamin D2, also known as ergocalciferol, are the most significant molecules in this category in humans. The creation of chalecalciferol in the lower layers of the epidermis of the skin through a chemical reaction that is dependent on sun exposure, primarily UVB radiation, is the primary natural source of the vitamin. Dietary and supplement sources of chalecalciferol and ergocalciferol are available. Only a few foods naturally contain high amounts of vitamin D, such as the meat of fatty fish. Cow's milk and plant-derived milk alternatives, as well as many breakfast cereals, are fortified with vitamin D in the United States and other countries. Mushrooms that have been exposed to ultraviolet light produce significant levels of vitamin D. Because sun exposure in the community is diverse and recommendations concerning the amount of sun exposure that is safe in light of the skin cancer risk, dietary guidelines normally presume that all of a person's vitamin D is taken by mouth. Why vitamin D is so important? Vitamin D shortage is defined as a lack of vitamin D in the body. Vitamin D is unusual in that it is produced by your skin utilizing sunshine. Fair-skinned people and those under the age of 50 convert sunlight into vitamin D much more efficiently than darker-skinned people and those above the age of 50. Our bodies require a variety of vitamins to keep healthy. Vitamin D is one of them. This vitamin serves a variety of purposes, including Maintaining bone strength Having strong bones protects you from a variety of illnesses, including rickets. Rickets is a condition in which children's bones become weak and mushy. A deficiency of vitamin D in the body causes it. Vitamin D is required for calcium and phosphorus to be utilized in the formation of bones. Osteomalacia is a disorder that affects adults who have soft bones. Calcium absorption. Vitamin D, in conjunction with calcium, aids in the formation of strong and healthy bones. Weak bones can lead to osteoporosis, which is characterized by a loss of bone density and can result in fractures. Vitamin D is transformed to an active form after it is either orally or obtained through sunlight exposure. It is this active form of calcium that promotes proper calcium absorption from your diet. Working with the parathyroid glands. The parathyroid glands communicate with the kidneys, intestines, and skeleton to maintain calcium balance in the blood. Dietary calcium is absorbed and put to good use throughout the body when there is enough calcium in the diet and enough active vitamin D. The parathyroid gland will steal calcium from the skeleton to keep blood calcium levels in the normal range if calcium intake is insufficient or vitamin D levels are low. What are the health effects of vitamin D deficiency? Getting enough vitamin D may also play a role in helping to keep you healthy by protecting against the following conditions and possibly helping to treat them. These conditions can include heart disease and high blood pressure. According to NCBI, vitamin D insufficiency is very common in the United States and worldwide. Several recent epidemiologic studies have demonstrated a strong association between vitamin D insufficiency and risk of CVD, risk of diabetes and metabolic syndrome. Several prospective studies have suggested that vitamin D deficiency predisposes individuals to increased risk of incident hypertension, IHD, sudden cardiac death, or heart failure. Initial randomized clinical trials of vitamin D in the treatment of hypertension have yielded mixed results, however, the study design of these trials limits definitive conclusions. Diabetes According to pubm.gov, vitamin D deficiency has been linked to the onset of diabetes. This review summarizes the role of vitamin D in maintaining the normal release of insulin by the pancreatic beta cells, superscript 2 cells. 
Diabetes is initiated by the onset of insulin resistance. The superscript 2 cells can overcome this resistance by releasing more insulin, thus preventing hyperglycemia. However, as this hyperactivity increases, the superscript 2 cells experience excessive CA2 plus and reactive oxygen species, ROS, signaling that results in cell death and the onset of diabetes. Vitamin D deficiency contributes to both the initial insulin resistance and the subsequent onset of diabetes caused by superscript 2 cell death. Vitamin D acts to reduce inflammation, which is a major process in inducing insulin resistance. Vitamin D maintains the normal resting levels of both CA2 plus and ROS that are elevated in the superscript 2 cells during diabetes. Vitamin D also has a very significant role in maintaining the epigenum. Epigenetic alterations are a feature of diabetes by which many diabetes-related genes are inactivated by hypermethylation. Vitamin D acts to prevent such hypermethylation by increasing the expression of the DNA demethylases that prevent hypermethylation of multiple gene promoter regions of many diabetes-related genes. What is remarkable is just how many cellular processes are maintained by vitamin D. When vitamin D is deficient, many of these processes begin to decline and this sets the stage for the onset of diseases such as diabetes. Infections and Immune System Disorders Multiple epidemiological studies in adults and children have demonstrated that vitamin D deficiency is associated with increased risk and greater severity of infection, particularly of the respiratory tract. Severe lack of vitamin D causes rickets, which shows up in children as incorrect growth patterns, weakness in muscles, pain in bones and deformities in joints. This is very rare. However, children who are deficient in vitamin D can also have muscle weakness or sore and painful muscles. Falls in older people. Older patients can reduce their risk of falling by consuming the recommended daily allowance of vitamin D. It should come as no surprise that falls are the leading cause of serious injuries in older patients. According to the American Geriatric Society, each year about one-third of Americans aged 65 and older fall, leading to hospitalizations, admissions into long-term care facilities, and even death. And while many health problems, including arthritis, poor balance, muscle weakness, poor vision, dementia, and certain medications may increase fall risk, vitamin D deficiency plays a surprising role in older adults' falls. Some types of cancers. Vitamin D deficiency may promote spread of some breast cancers. Vitamin D is obtained from food, and supplements are produced by the body in response to sun exposure. A deficiency in vitamin D is associated with tumor progression and metastasis in breast cancer, suggests a new study. Treating low vitamin D levels may help people live longer. It's commonly known that a lack of vitamin D can cause bone illness in children and adults, such as rickets and osteoporosis. However, it raises the risk of heart attack and premature death. Vitamin D deficiency is defined as a blood level of less than 20 nanograms per milliliter NGML, whereas vitamin D insufficiency is defined as a blood level of 21 to 29 NGML, according to the Endocrine Society. The ideal concentration ranges from 30 to 100 NGML. Researchers discovered 19,092 adults who had vitamin D deficiency on at least two tests and had never had a heart attack in a study published in the Journal of the Endocrine Society in October 2021. Each person was assigned to one of three groups. Group A was not given any treatment and their blood levels stayed below 20 NGML. Vitamin D supplements were given to those in Group B bringing their levels up to 21 to 29 NGML. Group C received adequate supplements to increase their levels to 30 NGML or higher. The researchers discovered that Group C had a reduced risk of heart attack than the other two groups. People in Groups B and C, who all took supplements, had a reduced chance of dying from any cause than those in Group A, who were still vitamin D deficient. Is there a link? Vitamin D deficiency has also been linked to cardiovascular risk factors such high blood pressure, diabetes, obesity, and chronic renal disease.